Hey guys, it's Tech Racer, and today I'm going to take a look at the Oxygen OS Open Beta 29 for the OnePlus 5T and 31 for the OnePlus 5. So let's quickly jump into the settings and go to system update. As you can see, this is the system update. So the update size is of 243 MB and as you can see, this is the change log given below. So let's quickly apply the update and then we will take a look at the change log itself. So the phone has been booted as you can see so let's quickly jump into the settings go to about phone and as you can see it's open beta 29 and it's based on android version 9.0 with april 1st 2019 security patch so it's latest security patch now let's quickly jump into the settings uh, system system updates and as you can see now we have the new ui for the system update app so let's take a look at the update log so first of all we have few updates in the system uh, which is the display overheating device warning as well as new UI for the system update This is the new UI for the system updater app as you can see now We have the oxygen OS written at the top the update log has been shifted towards bottom and again The gear icon is exactly the same as it was previously. So this is the new uh, change in the system updater app Then we have now then you have display overheating device warning now This is for those who play a lot of games or do a very intensive task and if you're using phone under very warm temperatures uh, in that case it uh, if the phone overheats then it will prompt a message that the device is getting heated so please take needful actions against it then we have the quick reply in landscape mode so let's quickly go to the landscape mode so for that quickly jump to settings uh, then go to utilities then we have the quick reply in landscape as you can see this is the landscape mode settings and as you can see only two supported apps currently installed on my phone so it's showing it uh, here now again uh, uh, other apps are also supported or the support list has been uh, improved or updated for the quick reply so if you have those apps it will be shown up here and the device will support those app as well after that we have apps don't get paused when using reply in landscape so so now if in case uh, if you're watching a video and a message arrive that supports quick landscape mode then uh, the video won't get paused so you can just quickly reply the message as well as the video is running in the background at the same time then we have a few optimizations in the community app as well so optimize search experience by adding search field then we have improved ui for the social page and optimize log uh, recording for the bug report so let's click into the uh, community app as well so this is the community app as you can see now we are greeted with the new ui so let's quickly uh, scroll through all of these this is the community app now the search uh, now the search bar has been shifted towards the top as you can see so now we can quickly search from here and we have new uh, ui for the social page so first of all i have to log in uh, because i have logged out the account and rest everything is same then we have few optimizations in the social page as well uh, i haven't logged in so i can't show you right now then we also have a new uh, or improved bug reporting so if you have any bugs you can just simply tap on the uh, plus icon and you can just report for a bug from your phone itself so that's pretty good thing so guys this is it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching